<laughs> grab your balls, and we're going to do the hand work. Let us start by crossing the arms with the right hand on top and the left hand on bottom. Now, the way this move works is you take the top hand, you bring it home, and you cross it underneath. And when you cross it underneath, it goes over the top, back around, and then you push down and forward. So when you cross your right poi to the left side, if you looked at it to the left, it'll look counterclockwise. Now you take the top hand, which is now your left hand, and you bring it home, cross it underneath, and it does the same thing. When you look at it on your right, if you look to your right, it'll look clockwise. If you look to your right. Then that was one cycle of the weave, which would look like this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. You take the top hand, bring it home, cross it under. Then the left is on top, and it does the same thing, yes? Now the right is on top, and you're back at the beginning, and it comes, crosses home, and goes underneath. Under, they're both going under hands, it's just they're crossed on the other side and under hand. Yes, right hand on the left side, if you looked at it, would be counterclockwise. And yes, and left one on the right side will look clockwise, correct, yes. If you start the right poi, like, yes, like this, going underhand while it's crossed, you, at the bottom of the turn, bring it home, cross it underneath, and you got your micropoise spinning underneath the left one. Now, your left one is going to do the same thing. And this is where it gets complicated, because you got to spin it, yes, and they're in split time. They're, they're pushing down and forward, push down and forward. They're in split time. Then you take your top hand, which is now your left hand, and you bring it home, and you cross it underneath. Yes. And then you bring, take your right hand, which is on top, and you bring it home and cross it underneath. Now, one thing that I'll say is, because you've done these drills, right, under, over, home, under, over, home, and I know you have, and I know there's somewhere in your memory bank, I'm not starting you at the beginning stages there, I imagine somewhere inside your body works an underhand weave that wants to get out. I would, in this particular case, rather than using finesse and precision, I might recommend you just try and force it by moving the arms at the right pace and the poi will follow. And you don't have to worry about these circles in the middle as much as you are. And just move the arm, move the arm, and you're here. Move the top arm, bring it home and under. Move the top arm, bring it home and under. Move the top arm, bring it home and under. And you keep doing that like that. You want to try and tighten the hands up. And instead of having your hands separating this wide amount, try and keep them, imagine they're handcuffed together, and they're about at your chest height, heart height, something like that, the whole time. Here's one way to help you get in. Start like this, even with your tiny boy. Start like this. And then go in split time. And then cross your right on top, left on bottom, and then bring your right hand back and underneath. Cross your right hand, then your left hand, and right back and underneath. This. Hands are crossed. Right is on top. Push the right one down. Actually, just start by bringing the right one home and underneath, and then the left one. Just start from still. Okay. If you wrap them from underhand, then start again in that same way. You cross your arms. Your right hand is on top. Your left is underneath. We're going to bring the right one home and under, left one home and under, and then we're going to get into our mini poi weave. Once you are in your mini poi weave and you're feeling comfortable-ish with it, because it's new, when the poi come to their own side, that is when you release to full length. Right? So I'm short like this. When my right one comes to its own side and my left one comes to its own side. But keep it, but keep it small for a bit. Get comfortable with it small. And then, you know, then let, that, then let your balls fly free.